Right, the things that get misunderstood, uh, and we could have just run with it. Uh, I didn't even know we were parachuting. John's got six kids. Oh, yes, we are, my dear. That's how we tell it, you know? Yeah, John Gardner's got, our, our musical guest has got six kids and a baby. Yes, yeah, that's right. I just found out all about it this morning. Yes. He might have six tracks and have a baby face, yep. but we're not going to give him just some answers. Right, right, right. Welcome in, John Gurney. I, this, is, this is the thing. I love the power of social media. Um, and I love Nashville for so many reasons. We were talking about why um, we love Nashville. You're from Chicago. I and and I, I want to get into why you came here and your reasons why you love Nashville. But one of the reasons just in general is social media. And I came across on social media. I'm like, and I told them, I walked in, I said, Damn. I said, we got to get this guy. Excuse me, Mom. She loves me. <laughs> and I said, we got to get this guy on this radio show because this is, he is good. He's very why? good. He's good. He's good looking. Well, I mean, I think he's, you know, he's a nice looking guy. He's got his hat backwards. I thought this guy was like 23 years old. He's old 28. <laughs> but I said this guy's musically talented, and I never would have known about it if not for the power of Instagram and social media. Well, I appreciate you giving me the invite. Absolutely. So tell us why you, why, what is it about Nashville for you? Because we were talking about kind of our love affair for Nashville yeah. this morning. Well, I mean, I came here about three years ago. Um, I came here originally kind of doing backup and utility guitar work and banjo and little bit of bass and finally convinced my roommate from Mizzou, Chase Lauer, who's the social media guy that we were talking about, mm -hmm. uh, convinced him and the right we've been kind of rolling with it ever since. So did you did you play sets at Mizzou like to keep you know as a band? Yeah, or? I was uh, I did the the extra the five year I did the victory <laughs> live and so I'm on I was playing uh, I was playing bars <laughs> about four four or five days a week. I was oh, nice. kind of doing three to four hour sets kind of blowing my voice out, drinking too much, and singing every night, but I'm got sure the like, chops up a little bit. I'm sure guitar. some music came out of that, <laughs> did, though, right? Did. Like, so you something from that's that. That's kind of where my love for songwriting and guitar playing, because I was doing all cover songs, and people love it, and they respond to the radio songs that they know, but that's kind of when I decided, I was like, I really want to dial into my own songwriting and develop my own sound, and um, I mean, I think it worked. It's going well. We'll find out in the next couple months. we got the EP coming out, so we'll Down see here. people... John Crane, we always talk about our influences and what got us on the tracks that we are. You're a relatively young person. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing you talk about playing covers, so there's so, probably a variety of musical styles that you yeah. like follow. So why did you follow, uh, happen to do this one? Uh, as far as, as, like, well, I kind of, it's a blend of country and I would say Americana. Okay. Because I do love the new country Explain stuff. Explain to me Americana, I'm sorry. It's, Americana. that's what we all kind of joke, it's like the, the, the lost genre of people who don't really know where their song needs to be. <laughs> I love it. So it's like, Americana. I know. Okay. I said like so. It's it's a little bit it's a little bit rootsier, kind of centered around the lyric more so than the production. Okay. I, would I like say. that. I like that. So that that would be my answer of what Americana is. So. I heard Ben Harper say once, "This is the greatest line ever." He said, "I'm a you know this is back when we had record stores. He said, I'm a record store manager's worst nightmare.' He said yeah. they don't know yeah, where right, to put you know true. like they don't know what they don't know what oh, section okay. yeah. to put me in. So he said it's it's a Blend. Here, here's something I think that's pretty cool. Here at Acme, what we pride ourselves on is having original music, it's having independent music. And you go up and down Broadway, and Justin and I have discussed this, Brad and I have discussed this. You go up and down Broadway, and you see musicians that are trying to make it, and they're, you know, they're forced to play covers, and they got to play covers, and that's what the people want, you know, that's what they think the people want. And then, you know, you get to come here at Acme, and, and you know, there's a lot of independent, really creative new stuff going on. What's that like? Is as an artist, um, one having to play the covers because you think that's what they want, and then getting to let your soul free, if you will, and, and play your own music. I mean, I was going to say it's definitely liberating when that time finally does come. It's 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 a little bit frustrating sometimes at like a bar if you play like like well here's a new one and nobody <laughs> like, oh, oh, like yeah. bathroom break now. Yeah. Oh, that no, would make but sense. Um, I mean, I think it's just a period that everybody as an artist kind of goes through. You like kind of it's it's. It's looking in, that's when you kind of find your own sound. That's how I saw it. It's like, a, how can I blend these songs that I'm learning and kind of make my own craft? Well, paying your dues, too. Yeah, I it think is. It's whatever. Your lumps and I mean, you know, your dues yeah, them. Brad paid his dues playing football. I paid my dues being a sportscaster. And, and you know, I had a, a young gal call me. She was, she uh, she's in college and she was doing some stuff with, with this event. She called me. She's like, I'm just, you know, I'm not happy. And, the, you know, the, this. And I said to her, I said, honey, you're paying your dues. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Doesn't right. matter if you're happy right now. I know it's not what you thought it was, but you yeah. go and you finish that job with your head held high right. because it's paying your dues, and I'm sure that's what it what it was for you. Absolutely. And Absolutely. now you're seeing the fruits of your no. labor. Yep. Uh, it's we're we're about 
two weeks out, we've got another week and a half of recording, and then we're going to be all done, and then it goes off to mixing. And I'm doing it over at Warner Robins Studio in Midtown, so okay. it's real close. It's the old Warner Studio okay. uh, with a producer named Trinidad Sanchez, and he's been doing a heck of a job. And I can't wait to get these songs out because I'm, I'm super excited about them. John, when we were playing in college, it was a great treat for us to be able to meet guys professionally. Yeah. You know, sometimes you get starstruck. Right. You're like, oh my God, it's Gail Sanders down there. Yeah. Is there anybody, has there been someone that maybe have influenced you that you kind of ran into? You're like, oh my uh, God. Yeah, as far as like kind of taking me yeah. under the, um, yeah, I mean, I was a big fan. I don't know if you guys know American Young. If they're in the I'm just duo. Not familiar, Justin. They're a duo here in town. Okay. We did Chase and I like saw their work. Their first album came out, I think, right when we were moving to town. That's somebody that Chase is now working with, and uh, Christy and John Stone. They're both amazing, amazing songwriters. So we've kind of all become friends. It's just cool to see a lot of the people that we're working with now that I was fans of. That is gonna be we're, crazy. We're working with yeah. them, so it's yeah. it's cool. So tell me about the lookout, because mm -hmm. I, I was looking at yeah. when we were when we were stalking you. We both Twitter stalked <laughs> you. We Twitter stalked you. Uh, Instagram. We did. Yeah. We Instagram and Twitter well, stalked you. I was going to say there's not much to stalk on <laughs> Twitter. <laughs> well, yeah, we followed some links. We found yeah. some things. And and uh, tell us about the lookout, because I, I was telling it to uh, kind of reading out loud to my producer before the show started. I was like, this thing is really cool in terms of helping others, yeah. helping artists, pooling resources. Um, what well, kind of it started out as a duo um, with myself and Tyler Fillmore about a year and a half ago, mm -hmm. and um, for whatever reason, like I said, it was kind of Tyler and I were going a little bit different directions musically, and we had already kind of put in all this effort, like developing the logo, and I, since I have it tattooed on my arm, okay, so I was wow. like, it's got to be something <laughs> And it's a win it. So we, uh, we pivoted over to kind of do social media and branding for up-and-coming acts, and some larger acts now, like Chase's with Lee Bryce and Sam Hunt and these guys that do see the big names, we've been doing some work for them as well, so it's, it's grown pretty quickly. How rewarding is that, to, yeah. to help artists not the ones that are already established like like lee Bryce and sam hunt but the young artists help them that it's, don't have it's that been otherwise. i mean i've been lucky enough to be one of the ones that's with chase chase, this is chase's company now so chase lauer not by chase on instagram we'll give him a little shout out but <laughs> uh yeah he's i mean he just has the spirit of like giving back and taking jobs to just kind of break even on the finance side to just launch some of these acts and it's that. gone really really well so last year, about, I think it was in maybe October, you were working on a project maybe with Taylor Ray. Um, oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I was just in Virginia Friday playing with him. Taylor's yeah. another guy, just insane social media following. I don't know if you saw any of his stuff, but um, yeah, his single came out called Tie Me Down that I co-wrote with him. And another guy, Taylor Phillips, was the third writer and just took out, it sold 11 Is Taylor in Nashville? In the first or week, so how did you guys get together to collab on the uh, I met just through our friend Taylor Phillips. Uh, they just over Instagram is how they met. Too. See? Instagram. And it's like this yeah. wild web. And he's like, well, come over and write a song. And literally, I met him in the first did song. Did you have an idea what you wanted to do? Was his, all I had was this guitar part. Of it. Just kind of a bluesy, like little laid yeah. back thing. Oh, like, that's American comedy. Right? Yeah, no, yeah. That's, 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 the, that's the baby making music. Yeah. 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 Um, but yeah, so he had this little groove, and he's just got this crazy voice. And he's another one you should have on the show because okay. he, he buckle up though, because he is a live cartoon character. Okay. Like, yeah, he's, he's a ball of energy. I'll that's tell you so what. Yeah. All right, so before you play, I gotta ask you this. It's um. So when we meet a lot of musicians here, you know, obviously you love to perform your own stuff, but yeah. talk to me about the desire to, to write, because there's a lot of longevity there. Yeah, that's kind of how I see it, is once it's like I'm willing to give the give the road thing, you know, do the tour, see how far I go, like put, put my time in, grinding it out for the next couple of years, but I really do see myself long term in the studio as a writer and um, long term getting into a little more production, because it's easier to make a career, yeah. you can turn into a 9 to 5, there's someday kids down the line, not yet, uh, like we, jo babies. we joked about earlier. He's <laughs> yeah. got six um, babies, I'm just kidding. But yeah, I do see that as Is it hard long. though, to, yeah. to let your music go and let somebody else sing it? Like, I don't know, I'm not a musician, so I'm asking, like, is it hard? Is I, I kind of think it's cool to see the different okay. interpretations. See, that, that's what I wanted to ask him before you perform for us, was, you know, would it be fair to say that maybe one of your goals is to have someone cover your song? Mm-hmm. Oh, absolutely. Like, yeah. who, like, who would that be? Yeah, yeah. okay, yeah. there you go. Yeah, there so you that'd go. be full, full circle. Yeah. Like one day, hearing somebody in the bar. Okay, like, hey, that's, 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 that's my song. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And everybody, woo, woo, woo. Yeah.
All right, so you're gonna you're gonna play for us. Yeah, I'm gonna do. Uh, I'll do one that's a little bit, kind of got a, a little bit of a James Taylor little like roots. Yeah. Yes. You do it like, yeah. <laughs> Love my baby. Let's see, I'm battling this armrest here. There we go. Got another round of the body for it. This one that's on the EP, it's called Learn to Live. Uh, I co-wrote this with Mitchell Tenpenny. Who's another... I know Mitchell. Yeah, Mitchell's yeah. the man. Mitchell's He's from, from the back. Yeah. I know He's Mitchell. Really He's over. He's Him over and Andy Albert, Albert are like two of my good friends. Andy lives next door to me. This is my really good friend. Small world, here we go. There's an order in this world. Nurse. Oh, well, oh. there we go. There's an order in this world that must be obeyed. You crawl before you walk, you walk before you run, and each day is put to rest by setting the sun. By setting the sun. And before you pray, believe. Before you bite your tongue, wear your heart on your sleeve. Before you preach, learn. Before you spend it all, well, you got some stripes to earn. Before you take, give all that you have to give. Before you quit, try. And before you die, learn what it means to live. Woo. Learn what it means to live. And there's steps to this love to prove that it's true. It's the look before the kiss, the kiss that never gets old. It's the once you know you know, it's the never letting go. And before you pray, believe. Before you bite your tongue, wear your heart on your sleeve. Before you preach, learn. Before you spend it all, well, you got some stripes to earn. Before you take. Give all that you have to give Before you quit, try And before you die Learn what it means to live The minutes become hours And the hours become days So fill them up with who you love Cause time never waits And before you pray, believe. Before you bite your tongue, wear your heart on your sleeve. Before you preach, learn. Before you spend it all, well, you got some stripes to earn. Before you take, give all that you have to give. Before you quit, try, and before you die. Learn what it means to live. Learn what it means to live. Woo -hoo! Yeah. Yeah. I'm over here dropping a tear <laughs> in a good way, like happy yeah. tears, yeah. thinking about my oh. life, like what I want to do today. How, yeah. Well, there's so many yeah. things in this. I like this. Oh. I'm not used to singing this early. Yeah. <laughs> so I will say I'm over here taking notes, John. Because you know the you song was really it's really touching, and you're talking about preaching and learning. Yeah. And you have to before you quit, you have to try, and before you actually pray, believe those yes. those lyrics they mean something. Yeah. It's um, pretty good. I sat on those that that hook idea for about six or seven months before we actually wrote the song, because it took. I tried to explain to people, and they didn't really get like repeating before that many times in the chorus. To people was kind of like. When something is that repetitive, mm -hmm. sometimes it can, can be distracting. But when we finally figured it out, I think we kind of kind of nailed it. 
So I'm excited about that one. Yeah, I was saying, listen, you said you said preach before you preach, learn. I said, yeah. so Woo! Yeah. I, I was like, right. man, there's more to come. Before you that. pray, yeah. believe. John Damn. That was uh, kind of like everybody just wants the instant gratification yes. these days. And it's like sometimes it's like got to put in the work and to get something that's, that's worth it. What about take you back to the first time that you played that song as a whole and somebody got it? Like somebody went, aha. Uh, uh-huh. Well, it was cool. Like, the, Thank you. Yeah. Um, Thank you, partner. I actually played one of my first people I played it for was my mom. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. She, she, she obviously loved that as a mom. Yeah. So, like, used to writing a lot of the, some country, some party beer songs. Yeah. Like, bring it out. <laughs> she was happy when she was happy to hear that. She's like, oh, you, she, she's a Catholic school teacher, too. So, yeah. she's like, oh, oh you've been at least soaking in some of the things I've been saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh, I'm singing. So, your mom influence comes out in your writing. Yeah, she's I a songwriter. Love it. She's a songwriter as well. Look at that. Yeah. Did you hear Richard? Yeah. She said your, she's your mom's a songwriter. songwriter. I know. So, that's so crazy. Mm-hmm. Pretty amazing. So it's cool. She critiques. You, your mom needs to go out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we, we play, I played a, lot, a couple live shows there in Chicago. That's, that's all. That's all right. with your mom. Yeah. That's really cool. Uh, uh. So uh, tell everybody first of all um, what's coming up, how they can hear you, like what's coming up, the EP, all that good stuff. Give us the, the yeah. John Bernie uh, lowdown. Yeah, it's everything. Instagram now is the best way to keep up, but I'm going to be more active on my Twitter and Facebook and all that. I was kind of, yeah, yeah really called out. Um, but yeah, so there's a, the new EP will be out um, within the next month. We don't have an exact date just because we're still kind of doing vocals, but for sure we'll say unofficially May 1st um, will be will be a, a launch of at least one song coming out. Um, so if that's if that gets me in trouble, I apologize. Chase and Trinidad, we're under the gun. Uh, but yeah, it's John Gurney Music, and it'll be JohnGurneyMusic.com. Everything is the same on all, all platforms of social media. So Any live shows here and around? Uh, the up? next one on April 27th with The Listening Room with okay. uh, Vanessa Branson and AJ Cross. That'll be a, a good show. And then May 20th, I'm kind of doing a night with with friends. I think we're going to have some American Young and Lewis Bryce, those guys up who's over in town at The Listening Room as well. Awesome. So it'll be April 27th and May 20th. Mm. Real quick on the way out, John, obviously you being from outside of the Nashville area, um, you probably recognize that Music City was the place to be if yeah. you wanted to launch your career. Kind it of was, yeah, I mean, it was interesting coming from Chicago, and it's like, it's it's hard unless you've got a full, like, really tight band to get gigs there in town. And here, I was really surprised how welcoming, like, it's, it's, it's more of a community. You can come get up and play where... I mean, I found as soon as I moved here, I felt more welcome than I did in the in the Chicago music scene. It's a little it's a little more commercial and harder in Chicago, I'd, I'd say, to make it. We were talking about, and, and this is my last question for you before we break. But we were talking about in the first segment about Nashville and the reason why we love Nashville. So outside of like the music scene, like right now, I'm I'm dating Nashville. Like I love the city. Like yeah. I love the city. And this weekend, I went to like Shelby Bottoms Greenway, and I went out to Loveless Cafe, and their food did not disappoint. Yeah. And I went and got up underneath this bridge on the Harpeth River and like just windows down music up weekend and we went to an 80 dance party at the five spot but That's so many right. reasons why I love the city why do you love Nashville well the food is real yesterday we had we went and had some taco mamacita and then yeah. I spent the night at, at rooftop of Acme here last night <laughs> having, having a few drinks so <laughs> that's why the voice might be a little hoarse this morning it was good, it was but good. no it was a good day I mean up, upstairs you can't beat that view and I fall more in love with Nashville every day and I've been here three years so I don't see it I'm not the only one yeah, no it, you're not yeah, he's John Gurney. Thank you so much for Thank stopping by. Thank you guys so much for awesome. having me. Yeah. All right, we'll take a quick break. Be Hoppin' Barbo, Brad Hopkins, I'm Rachel Barbo, bringing Nashville to the world, 400 countries. We're right back.